It's the middle of the night, and I've woken up worried about the coronavirus. So I've spent an hour learning more about it, and that's why now I'll be showing you how to prevent yourself from the coronavirus. The CDC suggests washing your hands with soap for 20 seconds after using the bathroom or before or after a meal or any situation with major germ transfer. And now 20 seconds lasts a long time, so they suggest maybe singing a song along with it. Ain't nobody dope as me, I dress so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. Oh, you think I'm so sexy, I dress so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. Ain't nobody dope as me, I dress so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. Ooh, you think I'm so sexy, I dress so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. And now a nice 20 seconds of soaping and dry our hands off. And so yeah, that does a lot to prevent corona... Oh man. Just put my hand in something sticky. Oh yeah, a few days ago I ate a Girl Scout cookie in the bathroom. Really like the Samoas, you know? Ugh. Ain't nobody dope as me, I dress so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. It's also suggested to not touch your face, nose, oh. Ah, uh, something, something flew in my eye. Uh, I can't, we shouldn't be touching our eyes either. I, oh. Well. Until my eye is able to handle whatever flew in it, this is just the way my eye will be looking now for the rest of my life until a vaccine comes to play for the coronavirus. I grabbed a paper towel and some water and dabbed it onto my eye so my eye is doing better. But I'm sure you've seen a lot about face masks. And now, a face mask is not necessary when you are a healthy person. If you are sick, putting a face mask on does help in preventing uh, the transfer of this virus. However, please do not buy a ton of face masks. Do not steal face masks either. These face masks are really necessary for our healthcare professionals and hospitals to have for these major situations that are happening right now with coronavirus. Now, if you really want to prevent the spread, uh, maybe an alternative could work with something that you already have like a ski mask or a balaclava. Uh, I don't have a balaclava right now. I couldn't find mine. So I'm just going to use this little scarf thing from the woman I'm currently sleeping with. I'm sure she'll love the fact my mouth is going to be all over it right now. And I just cover that over and maybe put my hoodie on. And now I feel if I'm sick, I'm helping to prevent that spread in the population. Mind you, I don't think I should go into any bank looking like this colorful shredder but at least I'm doing my part to prevent coronavirus. Perhaps you also want to find an alternative to handshakes or hugs with other individuals. Uh, perhaps the Japanese bow, or even the head nod, or who doesn't love the classic young Frankenstein chicken wing. Either way, these provide you with a way to be cordial and at least only slightly insane looking. Be smart about your travel plans. If you're planning on traveling internationally, consider where you're headed to and if it's best for you to be doing that. When traveling within the United States, we've already seen cases in certain parts of the states, so think about where you're headed to and making sure you're doing these types of prevention plans if you are going to travel to certain places. Or if you want, just stay right where you are. Don't move at all. Just be in your home forever and ever. Just like the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. He was a visionary, right? Look, we can make all the jokes that we want, but this is a serious situation. And my personal perspective 
is to look at it by being as clean and as smart as possible and focusing in on your hygiene rather than living in fear. Now, uh, we also have to be respectful that many other countries and other cultures may not have the sanitation and hygiene expectations or abilities that we do. And we live in a world. So because of travel, because of business, these are all possibilities that could happen. And we have to deal with it appropriately when they do. So for the time being, it's best to be as preventative as possible and smart about it. Because we have to rely on our governments and our healthcare professionals to create that vaccine for us. But in the meantime, as we await that arrival, let's just be as preventative and as smart as possible. Now, I'm not a doctor at all. I'm just an Indian guy on YouTube, which for many of you is the same thing. But hey, that's my perspective on all of this. Now, should I still be eating a Samoa in the bathroom? Probably not. But hey, it's my bathroom. It's not a public bathroom. Please do not eat Samoas in public bathrooms. So I might as well go ahead and enjoy this and still live my life in an appropriate hygiene way uh, to me, uh, but not, you know, living in fear that oh, I can't move and no more Samoas in the bathroom. Maybe this is my last Samoa in the bathroom. I mean, these are so damn good. Thank you.